The S&P has broken out to new all-time highs, and while we think there could be additional gains from here, uh, we're still looking for some kind of top to develop in the next couple months. Hi, I'm Mark Arbiter, and this is S&P's Chart Room. Uh, taking a look at a daily chart of the S&P 500 with the 13-day uh, exponential moving average as well as the 34-day exponential moving average. Uh, the index broke out uh, above the 1600 level, uh, basically the top of this range here, uh, this inverse head and shoulders formation or base uh, was around the 1597 level. So based on the size of this uh, little base here or consolidation, uh, we could see a measured move up to the 1650 to 1660 level. Uh, to get a, an additional target, we could also see uh, a Fibonacci extension, uh, 0.618, uh, based on the size of this base as well, which forecasts or targets a move up to uh, about the 1640 level. Well, the price action remains bullish and trends and moving averages continue higher. Uh, we are concerned about uh, the momentum divergences that we have seen over the past couple months. Uh, this is just a 14-day RSI. Uh, you can see each time that the S&P has made a new high since late January, uh, we have put in a bearish divergence with respect to uh, the 14-day RSI. Uh, certainly a concern and it suggests that we have to have a bigger pullback here somewhere down the road. Taking a longer term look at the S&P 500, we move to the weekly chart. We've been in this fairly tight uh, uptrend uh, within these pink trend lines or bullish trend lines here uh, going back since the beginning of the year and uh, based on the move off the uh, November lows um, and this consolidation back in here. Uh, we had a price target up 1600 plus, which we have achieved uh, based on this inverse head and shoulders, the size of that in inverse head and shoulders. Um, we have not come back and tested the 40 week in quite some time. The last test was, of course, in November, where we fell through it and then uh, jumped the tracks or jumped back over that important line. This is basically the 200 day uh, exponential just on a weekly basis. Uh, many times during decent pullbacks, you will come back and test the 200-day uh, or 40-week. Uh, we're pretty good distance. They engage 10% uh, above the 200-day and the 40-week. So we are quite extended here uh, from a longer-term uh, moving average. Uh, what's, what has us the most concerned here is the deterioration in the weekly momentum, uh, much more important than the daily momentum, uh, the 14 Weak RSI uh, is printing some, a uh, couple divergences here. Each time we make a new high, uh, we've seen a lower high here in the 14 week RSI, and we have a potential uh, another negative divergence or bearish divergence uh, with this latest move uh, above 1600. Uh, so, this is nothing to ignore. While the price action still remains bullish, uh, mounting divergences both on a weekly uh, and a daily basis suggest uh, that we're going to put in some type of top here, whether it's at 1625 or 1650, uh, that's not really the concern. We think it'll be some type of intermediate term top uh, that probably takes a couple months to trace out and we could see, then see some decent downside, perhaps a, an 8 to 10 percent pullback possibly coming back and testing that 40-week uh, exponential moving average or coming back and testing the top of this base here in that 1475-1480 level. This has been Mark Arbiter with S&P's Chart Room.